what is up what's up what is up fs club welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early preview or probably the mod that everybody has been wanting the lizard f350 before we even begin guys though i'd like to give a huge huge shout out to agrotono for allowing me to be able to actually show you guys an early preview copy of this mod anyways though if this mod is not out yet guys remember there is never a release date for mods but yes this mod will be coming out to all platforms we're gonna be going over a lot of stuff with this. This is a very detailed truck right here. Anyways, though, let's just get into it. Okay, welcome back. Okay, first of all, we're gonna be going over is all of these store options. And yes, this might take a minute because there is a lot of store options. So let's go ahead and go over here. Of course, you can find the trucks in the car section right over here. And then if you go down in the tool section, you go to, I think it's miscellaneous. Yes, miscellaneous. There is the bodies. Or you can do in a little bit even easier version if you just go to the car and you click that combinations button and then you can see, you know, the beds that actually fit it. Okay, but anyways, let's go over them. We have the F-350, which is $26,000. Then we have the F-350 crew cab, crew cab, which is $30,000. Top speed is 93 miles an hour, 220 liters of fuel, manual transmission, 350 horsepower. Uh, the regular one, the single cab is 4.4 tons and the dual cab is 6.5 tons. That's not it. There's a lot of different kind of options for this. So let's go in here. All right, here we go. We got interior backrest. Let me see if I can zoom in right over here. We got that. Actually, I don't know exactly what that changes. Um, Yeah, I don't see. Oh, okay, I see. There's, there's what changed. As you see right there, we got beige. We got orange. We got black. We got brown. We got white. And back to beige. And just up, you got the F-350 manual. And then you got the F-350 automatic. Uh, wheel brands, you got Michelin. You got Michelin 2, Michelin 3, Michelin 4, Michelin 5, Michelin uh, dualies, and then back to Michelin. As you can tell, Agrotono definitely loves his Michelin. <laughs> uh, but those dualies, look how nice those are. Very detailed. Uh, let's see. Wheel setup, you got the rim 1, rim 2, rim 3, rim 4, rim 5, rim 6, and then back to there. Uh, let's see. I believe it's the same for those two. I like those beads right there. Uh, front grill, you got the 2008. There is a lot of different kind of options on the front grill. So we got the 2008 version, the 2008 black, 2008 colorful, 2008 modified, 2008 modified black, 2008 modified colored, plastic Raptor, Raptor plus primary color logo, Raptor plus metallic logo, Raptor plus secondary color logo, Raptor primary color plus plastic logo. Raptor plus primary color logo two. Raptor primary color plus metallic logo. Uh, Raptor primary color plus logo secondary color. 2010 plastic, 2010 plastic metallic, 2010 metallic, 2010 primary, 2021 plastic, 2021 plastic plus metallic, 2021 plastic plus primary color. There's a lot of grills as you guys can see. We also have the secondary color on that. And then the primary color, then the primary color plus secondary, and then we go back to the 2008. See all the options we have on here? Uh, interior color, we have black, we have orange, black and beige. We have beige, beige two, brown, white, and then back to black. Bumper, you have the metallic 2008 bumper, 2008 black, bumper 2008 primary color, 2008 secondary color bumper, iron bumper, Black Iron Bumper, Metallic 2010 Bumper, 2010 Black, 2010 Colorful, 2010 Secondary Color Bumper, Bumper 2021 Primary Color, 2021 Secondary Color Bumper, Low Bumper, 2000, and then we're back to the 2008, I think. Yeah, we are. Okay, extensions. We got Standard Extension. We got Extension 1 Plastic. Extension 1 Primary Color. Extension 1 Secondary Color. Extension 2 Plastic. Extension 2 Primary Color. Extension two week secondary color, body kit, and then back to standard. Okay, the lighthouse, you got the 2008. As you see, it changes the headlights, I believe. We got the black mask. We have the lighthouse 2010, lighthouse 2010 black mask, the Raptor, the Raptor black mask, lighthouse 2008. Okay, so there we go right there. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite one right here. 
uh, cabin props. We got standard. We got LED bar one, LED bar two, snorkel, snorkel plus LED bar one, and then back to standard. Wow, man, there's a lot of different options on this thing. Okay, latches plus stirrup plus exhaust. We got plastic latches. We got colored latches. We got plastic latches plus stirrup, color latches plus stirrup, plastic latches plus dual exhaust, color latch plus dual exhaust, plastic latches stirrup plus dual exhaust, color latch stirrup plus dual exhaust, and then back to the plastic. Uh, glass and gutters. You have smoked one, two, three, smoked one plus channel, smoked two plus channel, smoked three plus channel, and then back to there. Uh, bush breaker. We have standard. We have plastic. Uh, we have small bush breaker. We had the big uh, bush breaker three points. So you actually get a three point hitch on here. Uh, let's see. Then back to standard shaft width. You have standard two, three, and then back to standard beacon light and sticker. You have standard. You have the beacon light. You have the sticker, which you see it puts it right at the bottom. We have beacon light plus sticker and then back to there. Then you, of course, you got all the main colors you can think of, design colors, any color, which I'll show you what this changes. See, it changes that right there. The sticker color. Let me just do that. Actually, you didn't. Oh, I didn't put the sticker on. There we go. So you changes that right there. Then you got the panel color, which I don't know what this actually. Okay, I see. It changes actually the interior, like next to the CD player and stuff. Then you got, of course, the rim color, any color, and that is the F-350 single cab. Now, on the crew cab, it's pretty much the same kind of stuff. It's just, you know, you got an extension right there. Uh, that's all the same. That's all the same. The grill's the same. The interior color's the same. The bumper is the same. Now, the extensions, you got standard. Uh, let's see. Are these the same, too? I think so, yeah. Uh, which one is the one that's different? Uh, plastic latches, bush breaker, attachers. Oh, yeah, there we go. Attachers, you got standard attacher, you got long chassis, and then back to standard, which we'll get into more of that in a minute. Uh, shaft width is exactly the same. Beacons and all the colors. This is just a dual cab. Okay, let's get to the combinations. Now, if you're using the single cab version, click on the combinations. You've got the normal service body, which is 3,200. And then you have, uh, sorry, yeah, 3,200. It holds 5,000 liters of fuel. You have the normal flatbed one, which is 655. Normal flatbed two, normal body, and that is it. So if we go on the service body, you can see attachers. You got standard attacher, you got the rear hitch, and then of course you got different kind of main colors. Let me just show you guys what changes on that. There we go. Design color, any color, that changes. And there we go with that. Now the normal flatbed, here is this one. You got boxes standard, left box, right box, boxes. Uh, attachers, you got standard attacher, you got fifth wheel, one, two, and then, of course, the different kind of colors you can have on these. And then we have this other one right here. I'm trying to see what really the difference is. Oh, okay. So this one is more if you're going to have the duels, it looks like. Attachers, you got standard, rear, fifth, one and two. Rear hitch plus fifth wheel, one and two. And then, of course, the different kind of colors. Now, the normal body. You have all the stuff you had. You have the extensions, standard, plastic, all the different kind of colors you have. Body kit. Bumper, you got metallic bumper, you got black bumper, primary colors, metallic. Uh, let's see, roll cage, standard. You got roll cage plus headlights, metallic roll cage plus headlights, black roll cage, metallic roll cage, and then back to standard. Assess cap accessory, you have standard raptor plate, which changes the back as you see right there. Uh, sticker, you got standard, you got 4x4 four four off road, four, uh, FX41, FX42. Super off-road, uh, the big sticker, then you got 4x4 plus big sticker, the 4x4 1 plus big sticker, and then 4x4 2 plus big sticker, and then you got standard. Range, you got standard, or you got the range right there, which if you put that sticker on the, like, you know, the, the cab, this is what you're going to use right here. Uh, box antenna, you got standard, you got box, antenna, and then box and antenna, which looks like a toolbox. Uh, let's see, attachers, you got standard. Rear hitch, fifth wheel, fifth wheel two, rear hitch plus fifth wheel one, rear hitch plus fifth wheel two, and then back to standard. And then, of course, you got all the different kind of colors you can switch right there, which I'll show a little bit of a preview of it. Changes that. Design color changes that. 
sticker color. If I had stickers on, let me go right up here real quick. I think it's, yeah, right there. And then that is it on that. Okay, now let's get to the next thing. Okay, let's go over to F350. Let's click on combination. Now this one has the short service body, the normal service body, the short flatbed one, the normal flatbed one, the short flatbed two, the normal flatbed two, and then the short normal body, and then the normal body. The difference is, is if you actually made it extended, you no longer you use the normal. If you keep it the regular way, you use the short one. Okay, but all these options are exactly the same as the other one. Everything is completely the same. So we're not really gonna go over these. Okay, let's actually take a look at this in game. So right here, I have three of the trucks. We have, of course, the regular cab. We have the crew cab one, and we have another one with the uh, with the service body on it. My favorite one though, look at this. This thing is nice. So this is the one we're gonna get into. Let's go and get into this one. Okay. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so let's see headlights, which I got all the lights on this thing. One, two, three, four, four sets of lights. Got the beacon bar on top. Uh, let's check out the turn signals. Everything looks good on that. Okay, let me turn that all off. Okay, here is the interior. Nice interior, as you see. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and let you guys hear that engine when it starts up. Nice sound, right? Okay, let me turn that back over. As you see, the LED lights come on, the running lights. Okay. Such a nice truck. Okay, let me actually pull forward real quick. Okay, some of the different stuff you could do on here. Let's see, do this. If you use the L1, or I believe your LB, if you're using an Xbox controller, and you use your right stick, you can actually, as you see, higher and lower the back, and higher and lower that. Of course, the unfold. Then we got this one, which I actually don't know what, oh, okay, that actually lowers that. Okay, now I know what it does. So you can actually lower this with the R1 or the RB and using your right stick. Now, if you do the L1 and R1 together, this is what this does, which is pretty cool. The tow mirrors will actually come in and out. Nice, right? Okay, top speed is 93 miles an hour. And this thing actually drives really good. Watch, I hit a car, right? Let me actually uh, try to lower this thing. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. So he gets up to speed pretty fast. Yeah, I'm going 80 miles an hour and it's not bad driving. Ninety-three right there. Okay, break, 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 break. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Lizard F-350 from Agrotono. I love this truck. Probably one of my favorite trucks in the game. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below if you guys are planning on using this truck. Also, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and definitely smack that bell. Make sure that bell is on. Like always, have an amazing day, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. show so make sure that you don't miss out just be there we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top